Welcome back to our Space Engineer Salvage Survival playthrough. Joining me are Fuzz, Dan, Thundra, and other members of the Court of Fools. Our rules this time are fairly simple. Small grid and static large grid are free to build. Free floating large grid can be salvaged or built in our construction hangar. If you are interested in more, do the YouTube chant, like and subscribe, and enough talk on with the show. So, out of small steel tubes. Yep. And I don't have any in here, so... I need to get some started. So I'm probably gonna die. Go ahead and do that. I don't think that it's gonna fill the things. This one is not making anything. Make the steel tubes. <clears throat> there we go. How dare you claim cryo like he's somebody that can just somewhere. I'm, I'm in a low oxygen environment, so I have just enough to stay alive, but not enough to repressurize my tanks. <laughs> and I'm at 11% health and zero oxygen. <laughs> You're going to have to hot foot it across the the reactor room to get to the metal. <laughs> uh, All right. Industrial okay. setup is functionally finished. It We're is. not going to have any oxygen in the med bay. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's no oxygen anywhere. I... Cool your heels. I'm in the mini Mura. I'm out to go get stuff now. Yay! If I don't wreck it. I'm trying to get out of this tight hole. That's what you Sounds think. like a skill issue. <sighs> You deserve that. Yes. Uh, I just, I love the the full separate reactions. You had D-Swags, not saying anything. You had my, not saying anything, but it's a lot harder. What she call it? You had, and then the two ones, piping off. Hey, how do you know how hard it was for me? Ah, oh, educated guess. <laughs> I've been talking to your ex. I don't know, lots of things. You're talking to L? That's dangerous. And I just pulled what was left of the oxygen out of the system and died in a cockpit. <laughs> Handy. Now, if I can remember where that ice spot was. There's two of them. Was, yeah, because I think there's one near where I'm working now. Oh, uh, thunderous. Right below, I believe. Thunderous chat is like erupting into some sort of hug based <laughs> orgy. Oh, God. Nothing wrong with hugs. This, this is why I can't be a part of the. Uh, I didn't say there was. What you kill it? What part of hug-based orgy did you think I was going to object to? Um, I don't know. That doesn't like that much. No, I am not, I not a touchy-feely person. This is going to be interesting. I, I love Daniel's comment <laughs> since, like, there, I mean, no. we're discussing a hug-based orgy, and he's like, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> That'd be interesting, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes no. I'm I'm quite the opposite, what you can call it. I give excellent hug. I didn't say I was bad at hugs. Oh he's very good. Uh, mm -hmm. D swank. Energy As long as the door to the uh to the hangar is closed off. Minutes? Yeah. That's my bad this spider. This whole section forward is now pressurized. Okay. Have people been some shinies in your pond again? How are the gyros not helping that much? I mean, it's got a metric crap ton of them on there. Have people been monkeying with the settings? No, I think it has to do with the um, the weight issue. There's a there's a small bug with weight and ship. And everything else, ah. uh, you have to kind of wiggle it, and then it starts moving. Okay. Don't know if you've ever experienced that. It's quite annoying. Uh, usually, if I'm in a uh, out there, I don't have wiggle to. It more than three times, you're just playing with it. We know. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I. I haven't had to. Uh, There's an oxygen tank in tank six that's 
pressurized to a of 11%. Oh, it didn't offload what was in the containers, just in the drill. Okay, uh, let's see. Just the Starting to work on your room? So, no, I'm oh. I'm counting for uh, the second floor. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dano's is only too high. Five. Okay. We are going to... I think my name is the tall, tallest room, so I think we, oh, me and Dino have got our room done. We're even started, in my case. Well, some of us have been busy trying to keep the place running, you know. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help with that, because I want to start building big ships. Is well, the light in Daniel's room the reason why that there's green light in your room? Yep. Funny thing you see of that, Thunder, there is a giant projection out back. There was. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, there uh, there is a projection so there that you could start. Is from Dano's room because of all his neon green. It's bleeding through. The okay, walls. Thunder. Uh, okay. Come, uh, find me. I'm going to be working at the the reactor. I'll show you what something you can work on. Okay. Okay, because I can't think what to do with my room right now because. Interior plates, construction components, seem to be short supply. Yep. And most of it's decorative anyway. I'd rather get where I can build big shit. Okay. Okay. That should be enough ice for the moment. I lost track of where you went. Okay. See me now? There you are. Alright, unfortunately, we're going to vent this space, I think. Um, yeah, no. I think it's already been vented. Alright, let's go all the way down. Down here. That's quite the walk. Down here. Weld up the projection. Okay. <laughs> I can't even get in it. That's a, that's a big projection. This mount thing's annoying. Uh, what are we calling this hallway? Which one? Uh, the one behind the reactor room to the observatory. Um, I I would keep this hallway the set. Uh, this whole segment, the reactor segment, or we could put construction segment. Uh, uh what what color would we call construction? Do we have we have brown? We don't have gray yet. Yeah. Yeah, that that works. Uh. This hallway will be gray. From reactor to construction area gray. Well, we don't have a problem with steel plates anymore. I'm about to shuffle it around because my boxes are full. You know what would be real nice that they have yet to implement? What? A goddamn sword button. Oh, for the... The inventory out or the the actual chest. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of games like that, which you know, I remember when Grounded finally launched its launched its 1.0 release. And I was like, how is this still not a sort button? Like it don't it don't have to sort it in any complicated way. Just give me the option to stack everything into its highest amount. Please. All right, I think I have cleared out all of the uh, containers that was holding random stuff from random builds. Okay. So I know that was getting a little bit thick. Well, all except for uh, thunders. Yeah, well, we know, we know how thunder works. 
so you say. It's not even connected to the system. So we're sitting on about 19k plates at the moment. Uh, Thunder is going to go through that fairly quickly, I have a feeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Just got up. Big old project over there. Mm hmm. Big old project. Mm hmm. So it looks like my unknown signal is refusing to disappear, so I probably won't be getting any money this time around. Okay. That sucks. Which is unfortunate, because I would like to play with some more Rubits. Yeah. But that does mean I probably used up the money Daniel had <laughs> moved, uh, uh, saved up. Unless it's individual. Not for bed yet. Okay. I know. I'm tired. Go away. Okay. I know. Uh, Actually, yeah, I like that. I like the texture on these. Caps lock. Uh, hmm? uh, production. Okay. Yeah, I'm bad about that. Don't worry about it. I'm still streaming, sweetie. So, for future reference, uh, the heavy concrete blocks. Yeah. Uh, they have the texture as if some of the uh, stuff is flaking away and you can see the rebar. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, you can just not put the metal grids in for a new texture. Okay. That works. Which I'm going to do in here because I think that's going to look really good. Where'd you go, Thunder? There's a cockpit right here. Where? Like, right literally above my head. Oh, I didn't realize it was cockpit. There's also a control chair here and couches here. You know, a lot of places you can get energy. Uh, okay. You can pop in, take a look out the window, go, oh, that's beautiful. There's a bunch of enemies sitting there and a wow signal. Okay. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've, got, I've got to keep my signals off. I can't do that. A little much. Oh yeah, I, I set up like a uh, what are these uh, counter corners, counters, and a kitchen, some couches, and the observatory so we could look out, sit down, relax. The whole well area is now very well lit. Random potatoes floating in space. Those are dangerous. Yeah. They can cause severe damage to your ship. Oxygen about gone. Oh, oxygen about gone. Oh, I caught it just in time. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, your drills have stopped. Uh, drills were turned off. Because that would be why they stopped. Um, don't want to go any higher. Unfortunately, uh... oh, the Eldritch chanting has returned. Mm. Gonna summon my my patron spirit. Kuzu. Yeah. You good man. Don't let don't 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 let other people say say things. You, you, you good man. It's it. Well, I don't think it's a man. It's whatever it wants to be. Right. And in my mind, it wants smooches. Oh, so you played that game? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that that's a fucking genre. Which <laughs> part? The dating or the monster girls? Yes. But specific, specifically Cthulhu based yeah. dating games. There is a Cthulhu based dating game. <laughs> no, 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 not no. even just one. There's, a, there's like a whole bunch of them. 
what is it called? Like Tentacles of Love or something like that? Uh, the big one was Sucker for Love. Sucker for Love. That, that was it, yeah. Modern instruction comments. Our left was more my speed. I don't know. There was there was a fairly good ending you could get with uh, what you can call it, the King in Yellow. Uh, Haster, I think. Yeah. 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 Like one of the uh, the harder to get endings was basically what you call it. Basically, if you were genuinely in love with Haster, like you could just surprise. Basically, you know. She goes from, you know, brat to instant, it's not like I like you, Baka. <laughs> nice. Oh god, what's that? Sunere. Is it, is it, yep. is, it Mary, is it Mary's comics that has the, uh... Yeah. You showed it to me, yeah. Uh, oh god, Cthulhu's so cute. And also scary. I don't know. I, I, I haven't checked to see if it's been updated. It hasn't in a while, unfortunately. Uh, that sucks. So something I was going to bring up earlier, but it never got mentioned. Mm. Um, we had talked about the rebuilding the uh, the hammer at some right. point. I have a world where. I have the hammer in it. I have the hammer in its original uh, configuration as best as I can get with mods that still exist. And I have the mods that are uh, in our uh, in this world. And I was thinking about putting it up on the workshop so that uh everybody in the group can get a copy of it and refit the hammer however they see fit. And I was considering putting it up on the workshop open, openly, yeah. So, uh, like, the communities, mine, Thundra's, uh, Anybody's that we can link to it through either a spotlight or a special channel on the Discord and let people refit it as well and ask them to upload their refits to the workshop and link them to us in the Discord. And we can do a kind of a, a look at everybody else's refits as well. Yeah, that'd be cool. It kind of gets some community interaction going. Thank you for watching. All thumbnails are taken from the episode. First person to comment with the correct timestamp will get their comment pinned.